Let's talk about your balls. Saddles, dude. How much should you be spending on one? What's the difference between a $70 saddle and a, almost a $400 saddle? Are the saddles that are these long skinny guys with no split in the middle, are they better than something with a split? Is that better than one that's like a, a, an expensive version with a split? What about this freaking guy, right? A very similar to like an ISM style saddle where it's very TT. We're gonna talk about your balls and saddles. Let's get into it. This video is brought to you by Competitive Cyclist. Dude, Competitive Cyclist has really helped me get some of these videos out, like the sunglass video, the shoe video, the helmet video, and now the last one, which is saddles. Now, I don't have an ISM saddle with me. They do sell them on Competitive Cyclist. You can use code VEGANCYCLE15 to get 15% off your first purchase. Some exclusions uh, may apply. Some brands, it doesn't apply. Anyways, I mean, you know that by now. But so basically what I'm gonna try to do is break down which saddle might be best for you because there's really three different types. There is the long nose style, right, with no cutout. I call these the taint smashers. Then you've got your sort of middle of the road, right, where you have the cutout in the middle, right, but you still have uh, a nose to the tip, right, where you could put your um, the soft tissue. And then you also have this like, very TT style, all sit bone. Really, there's almost no way you can get your soft tissue to take the brunt of the force on something like this. ISM also has, you know, that style. We are not going to talk about whatever the hell this is, okay? This is an abomination. We're just not gonna talk about it. If you ride that, you don't have a butt. I think most of us all start on something like this, some sort of version of uh, very flat, Right, no, no cutout, a little droopy in the nose, very long, you know what I mean? Very happy to see you. Primarily your butt is seated back here. There's a lot coming out front. Really there's, there's two positions of this seat, back here and then on the nose. But the problem is, dude, is that it is a taint smasher. Your soft tissue gets all of the pressure and that's not very good. Now if you're riding four hours a week, it's really not that big of a deal, but I am in my fourth week of Train Like a Pro. That video will come out soon. Uh, I, I basically daily vlogged it on Instagram story and I post a lot on Instagram, but I trained like a pro for a month. Three weeks, 20 hours a week. The first week, 20 hours all indoors, bro, all on Zwift. 20 hours in a week, Zwift, crazy. I was doing that on this saddle. Now, I usually only run 10 hours a week. But when I did 20 hours a week, all indoors, bro, it was, this wasn't cutting it. And I know it's gross, dude. I, we're gonna get a little gross here, okay? We're gonna get a little gross. I got a saddle sore. And it was, it was threatening, honestly, to just derail the whole project of Train Like a Pro because it was so uncomfortable. The reason, I think, is that indoors, at least, you don't have motion, and so there's not, like your weight is so concentrated on this freaking saddle. I, I had to do something different. And so when we hit up Competitive Cyclist, you know, basically I was able to get uh, a very inexpensive saddle and a very expensive saddle. And I threw this expensive saddle from Celia Italia. Dude, this thing is almost $400. The thing is so light. I really like the sit bone style, okay? So I really like the sit bone style. Now it takes you a while to get used to it, but this one sort of has both of those best, the, the best of both worlds, right? So when I got on this, it was such a treat for the balls. I mean, they were rejoicing. They were like, thank you so much. We didn't want to do another 40 hours on the taint smasher, so thank you, right? And so it's like, yes. But when you're spending about $400, I think yes. Is, is kind of expect. If you're looking to ball out and get an extremely performance style saddle, dude, I could sit on this thing all day, every day, and I have basically ran this like 62 hours, something like that, in the last three weeks. Now you come down to Celia Italia's more inexpensive version. It's pretty heavy, 
And this one has a much more pronounced like arc to it. And so it sort of makes you sit farther back. Like it pushes you farther back or it pushes you all the way to the tip. And the tip for me is still a little bit taint smashy. I wasn't a huge fan of this one, even though it was inexpensive. I, it just wasn't, it wasn't doing it for me. To be honest, bro, this $70 saddle from Fabric, for the dollar, man, I mean, it is, it takes a little while to get used to. Cause you, cause you're not on your taint, you're on your, you're on your sit bones. So it's sort of weird cause it's like oh, a different way to sit on, on the, on the bike. But the way I like to sit where I sit really far forward on the bike, this dude, I can put my almost like I'm putting pressure this way. I'm like pushing back into the saddle. Now ISM has saddles for a really reasonable price on competitive cyclist. They range from 139 up to 224. If you're a bro on a budget, this saddle from Fabric is like really nice. If you give it time, if you understand, like you give time to like sit on your seat, your sit bones. Phil Guyman loves the ISM. He's sponsored by ISM. Probably best bang for the buck in my mind would be the ISM PN 1.1 saddle. Cause that one's 150 bucks and it gives you that a really amazing like N there's no way to smash your taint with that guy. So I think it's sort of obvious that like your butt is much different than my butt. And so you're gonna wanna go to your bike shop and I'm sure they have a ton of saddles that you can test out because you wanna test them out. And here's the thing is you wanna test them on different types of rides because you're in different positions on different types of rides. You might get this and around the block, you're like, yeah, it's great. Get out on like a 60 mile ride and you're like, eh, it's not that great get into a, a crit race and you're like, dude, there's nowhere to sit on this thing where I can go full gas. So I think to answer the question of like, how much should you spend on a saddle? You know, you're on it a lot, right? I think it's something you should take a lot of time to consider, a lot of time to try out different stuff. Um, it can make a wild difference in how you enjoy cycling. This, this saddle from Celia Italia, this one, man, increased my enjoyment of riding indoors exponentially. This made me be able to ride another 40 hours indoors for um, the Train Like a Pro Challenge, okay? But when you're out on the real road, this one fabric has like almost no cushion whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's rock solid, uh, but it doesn't really matter because unlike something like this, where your taint is just being smashed. You don't really need a whole lot of padding with the sit bone because it's a bone that you're putting pressure on, not soft tissue. So like depending on, you know, what kind of budget you have, I think I think this fabric saddle is well well worth $70, okay? My next recommendation up would probably be the mid-level ISM, which is something around 150 bucks, and then if you're a baller and you want and you're racing and you want the most performance with a lot of comfort do this Celia Italia uh, SLR with this big cut through and sort of like in between right it, it is a sit bone style so when you're seated here in the middle it really is you're 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 seating sitting on the bike like way different you know what I mean but it's it's not as aggressive as this guy you know what I'm saying that's like why that's that's a lot of difference and bro but maybe your sit bones aren't as wide as mine i have like birth giving hips dude and so uh i think that that's why i really like the the um sit bone style so anyway man this is probably what you're running now some sort of version of this i would highly recommend you look go into your bike shop and looking at a different type of saddle something that is more sit bone style and then once you go to your bike shop and you, and you check out and you test out a bunch of saddles if you want to get 15 percent off one of them you can use code vegan cycle 15 at competitive cyclist doesn't work on all brands but you know that already and again if you run this saddle i feel like you you somehow have a distortion filter on your butt i rode this one time and in and in one minute was like how can anyone in the world even come close to thinking that this is okay it was the worst it locks you in to a position you can't sit anywhere else and i hated that because i really like to move up and down the saddle all right so i like sitting back 
I like sitting forward, I like sitting middle, whatever. I like having control of where I sit. And with that atrocity of a saddle, it just locks you in. Check out Competitive Cyclist for all their stuff. Check out ISM, check out Selly Italia, check out Fabric. I think that those brands, um, I've had a lot of success with those or I've really gravitated towards those. I've liked those um, and yeah, man. So I wish you and your balls the best. As always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah.